Hey, hello there. This is going to be a tutorial for the Geometry Nodes procedural image from icons. So as you can see here, you have this image of a whale if we zoom out. But if we zoom in, we can see that it's built up out of a lot of small images or icons of uh, sea creatures. So here you can see a little jellyfish and we have a crab and here they become a little bit larger have different colors here we have a shrimp and a fish and even some other fish and starfish and we can build a whole image out of these so if we go here you can see that we have all these different elements this is the whale and we have a fish i changed the colors of these uh, images in the shading but you can do it in photoshop if you need something specific whatever uh, kind of image you want this is the image that i'm using for the full image so everything is projected on here and if we go into geometry nodes here we can see how the system works so what i have done here is uh, i created a plane or a grid and on this grid i project an image and if we go here turn on this image if i just turn off all these icons here you can see the image and this is the resolution of the grid so we can also up the resolution of the grid or we can make it less As you can see here it's the amount of pixels or lines that i give it to be able to project all these elements so i set this from 200 to 200 uh, pixels and we can also change the dimension now it's in a square so it's easy because i created also this whale as a square and here you can plug in images or you can import them if you want and here i have the uh, whale image that i just showed you as you can see here uh, this is a png it also takes uh, the alpha into effect the alpha channel and it takes away the border of the image and as we can see here image one the output is color one so we use that color to drive where the icons go the image two we can uh, upload another image and drive something else in the system so if we zoom out a little bit here we have uh, the instances from image so the geometry comes in this panel with the orca and if we now plug in this one you can see that the orca is being populated by color by all these uh, with all these images or icons and if we go into here i turn off the orca here you can see how it looks and how it works is that when i turn this on here i can pick a color where i want these icons to appear if I pick this color, the icons will appear here. Now, there are not a lot here because I have to uh, change the color range. So in the image, the color range can differ a little bit. So you want to uh, take a little bit more of that color. So the higher I put it, the more blue it's going to include. So, but if I uh, go back, I put this here. So it puts the icons here. This was... 0, 5, go back a bit, like this, and here we uh, have the set, the collection set that you use to uh, populate this image. So what you can see here is that we have, off, we have a shrimp and a fish, this off, I go to set A. Here we have the fish, and here we have, let's go in, ah, there's the shrimp, that's why it's here, we have the fish and the shrimp, and if we go into shading, here I gave it a little color, uh, this panel, colors, so here you can see that I created this 
Uh, this is just the image of the fish. You can use it like this, but I changed it to be dark blue. So it works with the uh, dark and the light of the orca. So I generated these with uh, an AI program to have just a few images that I can use. And, uh, yeah, I just changed the color with the, the shader. And here you can see the shrimp. I did the same with the shrimp. The shrimp was like red and blue nice but i needed it in this dark color so that's set a we have set b which have the jellyfish and the crab and then we have set c with the goldfish and, the and if we go into our image now geometry nodes have them you can see okay these uh, set a is uh, put on this color Set B is put on this color. That one isn't connected yet. Let's take these reroute nodes. X, we delete them. So here you can see, okay, these colors are being, or the icons are being put in this color. Different ranges set because you can see that it needs their own ra range to work properly. And then what we can do next, we can set the minimum distance. So if we want to have more distance between the icons, we can do it this way. We can set the density of how many there will be. I can also change the density with this slider. So give it more or less. Uh, I give it a little bit of randomness in the Z. that there is a random z so the icons will never overlap they will always uh, or they never exactly be put in the same spot because then you get z fighting okay, let me show you how it looks here yeah you see if we turn the camera now you see that they're fighting of which one is going to be on top and I put give them a little bit of offset now they don't fight anymore out camera you don't see it from this uh, here you see it. it's a little bit messy z random we give it a little bit of offset and uh, what we can also do is we have here a scale we can just set the scale of the icons this way and also the rotation here yeah, rotations are the same so i can put in a random value into the rotation from minus 90 to 90 it will take a random value so now it rotates them randomly change this you see that less or more rotation randomly. Um, but if we go in here i have here an image of an orca as well which i changed in uh, photoshop this image, this one. So I made it grayscale and gradient. So it goes from black to white in certain spots. And I'm using these gradients to drive the scale or the rotation. So that's plugged in image number two. And I use image number two to drive with a map range the scale, for example. Plug this into the scale see that they change maybe this is a good example oh here in the fin we can see because here it's going from gray to white the scale is going from large to really small and map range over here it's going from scale uh, 0 0.02 to 0 0.005 and we can change these values how big do we want them to be how small do we want them to be we want them bigger and this way you can make it uh, you can drive them with a map range if i would plug this in right away in the scale then they get way too big because then the range is going uh, from zero to one and that's too big for the scale we want them to be Lot smaller as you can see. So you remap the 0 to 1 range from 
0 to 1 to 0 0.02 to 0 0.005. In and we see it works better. You can also plug this into the rotation. We do that here with the next color. Scale here you see this one. The scale is the same now, and if I plug this into the scale, you see that it differs. Also, this gradient is used here to drive from zero to ninety the rotation. So all have the same rotation in they will start rotating more as it gets more black so here here they almost don't rotate here they rotate a lot so the gradient is driving the rotation as well so in this way you can uh, upload more Im images here and so I also image 3 and image 4 if you go into the node you can add more plug them in here if you need to then everything is driven by the uh, by the grid that is created then let's take away this one this reroute node keep everything clean so now we have three of these uh, colors what i can also do is add more these one off with M mute uh, shift D I copy this one M I unmute plug this into the join geometry and then I put the mesh of the grid in here and then I put the image of the orca in here first color the color input and then I can grab another color so I want only this kind of blue to be populated so if we take this image and we just duplicated this one um, what you need to do is you make the color be accurate so if we go to uh, raw no not the raw one uh, maybe the standard color then if we pick this color you see that it populates right uh, if I go to filmic color, pick it now eyedropper here it's not really working because the color of the image is not correct with what you see here in the screen so for that we have to go to standard then pick the color then you see now it populates this area here it will with tweaking take all this color this color and that part darker one maybe the epsilon needs to be color range needs to be lowered so this is how this works and make sure that you're using the right uh, color profile here I usually put it to AGX standard bunchy bunchy usually nice uh, medium contrast also usually nice so in this way you can uh, make a new one you can just uh, just tweak all these values that you need and, and maybe you need a gradient somewhere so you have a nice flow Need this it looks in this image. So I hope this is a useful tool for you to create any kind of image from uh, really small photos or icons or uh, generated images from AI as I did at this moment. And uh, I see you in the next one. Okay, bye.